these are the top five best class items right now to be using in Modern Warfare 3. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, for the first weapon, we are going to be going over the MCW, and I got you guys a brand new updated class item that I've been rocking a lot. Before that, though, for the second we are rocking the Renetti. If you guys do want a screenshot of one of my favorite Renetti builds, there you guys go. Got the 50 round drum on there, very broken. So, with this build, we are running the Demolition Vest, so then we can chuck out lots of nades. We can kind of sit back, beam everybody, chuck nades at them, and then we're going to be able to replenish those nades every 25 seconds. And then if we do need to reposition, I got the smoke grenade, which the smoke is so broken in this game. I don't know why more people don't rock it. Munitions box, since you shouldn't really be dying with this build. For the gloves, we got the marksman gloves, so we can be a little bit more accurate at long range. For the boots, we got the covert sneakers, so when we do need to move around, the enemies aren't going to be able to hear our footsteps. Then, since we are going to be pissing off the whole lobby, we do have the EOD on there, so then we can withstand those grenades. Although, the ghost would also be a pretty good option. Now, for the MCW build, so this one has absolutely no recoil. So easy to use because we got the bulleted break, which is going to eliminate all the vertical recoil on the weapon. Plus, we do get a lot of firing aim and stability. That's very important since this gun, or every gun in this game, is going to sway when you do fire the gun, which that sway is going to give you unpredictable recoil. But if you have it, it's going to eliminate that sway, giving you more predictable recoil and it's going to eliminate all the recoil off the weapon then increase the damage range making this kill a little bit quicker we are going to be adding the cyclone barrel i do recommend you guys to always run the cyclone barrel on this gun because if we look at the damage range it only has a effective damage range of 25.3 meters which really is not that good even when we add the cyclone barrel it's still not that good of a damage range but luckily the gun is just overall like super good so it does mitigate those cons of not having that good of a damage range Iron sights, I really don't like the iron sights. If you don't mind the iron sights, I'll give you a variation of like the iron sights. I know some people like them. I just I really don't like the iron sights. So that's why I'm going to be adding the MK3 reflector. Cronin in class is also a very good sight. This one's going to build in a laser to your sight. Slay Reflector is also a pretty good and good one. I noticed the Slay Reflector is better up close. Like if you're playing very aggressive, run the Slay Reflector. And then if you are playing at like medium to long range, use the MK3 Reflector, which with this build, I'm usually sitting back a little bit. So I like the Reflector. 40 round mag because in this game, it takes a lot of shots to kill. So to make sure you have enough ammo, run the 40 round mag. For the rear grip, we got the RB Claw PSL grip to add that fire and aim and stability. So now this gun really isn't going to sway at all. Plus, we get a lot of recoil control overall. Yes, there's a little bit of aiming idle sway, but that doesn't matter. You want to have a lot of fire and aiming stability. What you guys could do is actually take off the optic or the 40 round mag or the rear grip. The main part of the build is to have this muzzle and this barrel. Then you could add the A90 Venom stock. That is pretty good. You could add the high grain rounds. That's going to increase the damage range to 35. So then you actually can kill the enemies pretty quick. And then uh, I wouldn't add a laser because you can get that with the optic. The uh, good underbarrels on here is going to be the hand stop. X10 Phantom is a pretty good one. And then, yeah, I would just only run those. You don't really need anything else. If you do want to run a suppressor, which a suppressor in this game is going to hide you from the radar. So then you can fire your gun and you're not going to be showing up, up on the radar. And the enemies aren't going to be able to hear you. So if you are going to run one, I would add the Shadow Strike Suppressor. There's no cons, and you get a lot of, um, like, it just keeps you off the radar. So overall, that is a pretty good build right there. But this one is going to be my favorite MCW build. We all know the Master Camos look amazing in Modern Warfare 3, but they take hundreds of hours to get. So if you want to save yourself some time, I would definitely check out Guapsi. Guapsi is a very reliable company who will play in your account and unlock anything you want with a very fast delivery time. They have been sponsoring me for a long time, and I haven't seen a single negative review and so i'd really check them out i'll have their link in the description now for the next build i want to go over this is going to be the holger 556 which this gun is so overpowered it actually got banned in the competitive league it is one of the fastest medium range killing weapons as long as you mix in a headshot or two to your gunfight you are going to be able to kill the enemies in three shots which not many weapons be able to are able to kill in three shots and to prove that to you guys if we look at the headshot damage that is 54. Our player health is 150. 150 divided by 54 is like 2.9 or something. So it's going to be a three shot kill as long as you get a headshot in there. Yes, we are losing a little bit of our damage range and horizontal recoil control, but this is going to eliminate all the vertical recoil with the bulleted break, making this weapon very, very easy to use. Plus, when we do add this barrel, this one's going to increase that damage range and it's going to add recoil control, mitigating all the cons of that muzzle. And it's going to add a little bit more on top of there. So now you can get a three shot kill up to 42 meters, making this one of my favorite guns in the game and just overall one of the most broken guns in the entire game. And then for the underbarrel, since there is a little bit of recoil in the weapon, it's kind of hard to use at long range. And so I am adding the Chimera Ryan 03 vertical grip to add that recoil control. 
Again, we are losing a little bit of our horizontal, but you're not going to really notice that that much. You're only going to notice how much vertical recoil you have. Basically, zero recoil in the weapon. It is so easy to use. Since the iron sights are a little bit weird, again, you can use something else, but I, just, I really don't like these iron sights. And so that's why I'm going to be adding the slate reflector. Remember how I said the slate reflector is a little bit better for rushing? This weapon is very good if you're playing aggressive. You can use it at long range, but this thing excels at medium range engagement, so that's why I'm running the slate. But again, another good one is going to be the MK3 reflector or the NIDAR model 2023. And so if you do not want to run a optic or you just basically want some more ammo, I would add the 40 round mag. You could even take off the stock and give yourself the 40 round mag. Want to run a laser? You can add the high green round so this thing kills even quicker at long range, but you're not going to really be using too much at 48, so I don't really think you need an ammunition. Although the uh, the overpressure is going to give the enemies a lot of flinch. This one is very annoying for the enemies and very fun for you, so you could also do that. So overall, this build right here is going to be the best Holger 556 build. Absolutely love that build. I completely shred lobbies. And then since I'm playing pretty aggressive, I want to I want to get around the map a little bit quicker. So that's why I'm running the Karambit. Although you can run whichever handgun you want. This is all personal preference, but the Karambit, very fun to use. And then I do have the infantry vest so then I can tax sprint a little bit longer. And it's going to reset the tax sprint a little bit quicker, allowing me to play very aggressive. Again, you guys can use whatever you want. And I got this thing in my eye and it won't leave. For the tactical, I'm running these stims so then I can play aggressive. If I'm about to die, I can pop that stim and then boom, I got full health again. Breacher drone, I don't always run it, but it is pretty fun to use. You can just throw that Wally in there and then it blows up. You can even shoot out the sky. And then for the field upgrades, since I really don't die with this build and I'm just shelling out so much ammo, I'm going to be adding the munitions box. Another pretty good one is tactical insurgent. You can run up into the enemy spawn, place down that attack insurgent. They kill you maybe, and then you you respawn and boom you got it and then a trophy system is also good it can just block all the explosives when the enemies are chucking you with those things portable radar is nice same with the ddos the other things on here i don't really rock quick grip wait i should not have the quick grip gloves on there i don't know why i have that on there i would run the assault gloves so then you can play aggressive although if you do want to be a little bit more accurate at long range then i would add the marksman gloves this is going to reduce all the sway and the flinch so the enemies can shoot at you and your your screen isn't going to shake as much we got the lightweight boots so i can run around a little bit quicker although i think i would rather run covert sneakers i basically run the covert sneakers on every single build in this game if you are on shipment, then the tactical pads are very fun. It allows you to ADS as you're sliding. Then for the gear again, we are running the EOD, which that is going to wrap it up for the Holger. Next gun is going to be the Striker. And this Striker build, oh my days, yo, this Striker is crazy. When you guys use it, you guys are going to see how overpowered this gun is. It has insane damage range. Usually, I'm a little bit more accurate. I'm just used to the Holger. And then you're also not going to be on the radar at all since we are running the Sonic Suppressor. This is also going to increase that damage range, making this kill a little bit quicker at range. But if there is too much recoil on the weapon, then I would add the Shadow Strike Suppressor. You could add like the Bulleted Break or something, but I really think you guys should be off the radar with this build since SNGs, you are going to be in the enemy's face. You don't really want the enemies to know where you're at. And so that's why we got the Suppressor. Then increase the damage range, making this thing kill a little bit quicker. We are going to be adding the Striker Recon Long Barrel. I kind of run this barrel on every single gun. Actually, I think I run a barrel on every single class since the time to kill in this game is so long that having more damage range really, really is helpful. Then to add some recoil control, we are adding the Bruin Pivot to Vertical Grip. A lot of people don't realize how overpowered this grip is. We're only losing a little bit of our ADS speed and basically nothing of that sprint to fire speed, but we get a lot of vertical recoil, which that vertical is the up and down recoil. Losing a little bit of the horizontal, which is that left to right, but it's really not that much. And then we get a lot of recoil gun kick, which is your overall recoil pattern, like the smoothness basically makes the weapon a lot more consistent. Then to make this weapon even better at range, we are adding the high grain rounds, which the high grain rounds are going to be the personal preference thing. If you want to add an optic, stock magazine or laser i would take off the high grain rounds but one thing i really like about the high grain rounds is that it's going to eliminate the skull above the enemy so if you didn't know if you kill the enemy there's going to be a skull above their head letting the teammates know that hey a teammate died over here but this is going to eliminate that so now you have the suppressor so you're never going to be on the radar when you fire your gun the enemies aren't going to know when their teammates die and then we're running some other stuff that makes this thing even more stealthy making it actually one of my favorite builds in the game then to add a little bit more recoil control, we got the Saken ZX grip, giving you that fire and aiming stability. So now your gun is very stable when you do fire it. Then we get overall recoil control, making this gun very easy to use. Again, uh, if you do want to add a magazine, I would take off the high grain rounds, add that 48 round mag. If you want to add an optic, I would add the slate reflector or just an optic of your preference. 
wouldn't really add a laser one thing that is pretty good is going to be the exf solar flare fire flare yeah this one's going to add a lot of sprint to fire speed so now if you're running around you can fire your gun after sprinting 12 percent quicker making this actually very very good for rushing it's just i would rather have the high ground rounds or something else and then um for the stock the one i would add is the lockman mk2 light stock this one increases that movement speed so now you can get around the map a little bit quicker yes we are going to have more recoil which is annoying but there really isn't that much recoil in the weapon the no stock is also very good it's just you know there is going to be a lot of recoil in the weapon but some players might might really like that no stock so if you guys want to take a screenshot here you guys go and then the one of my personal favorite build for this weapon is going to be this one right here and then for the secondary rocket on this build we are going to be running the core and i got a suppressor in here since this is a very stealthy class got the uh, the barrel that increases mobility it doesn't really matter you could add this one if you want i just would rather run around a little bit quicker got the slave reflector since the suppressor does block the iron sights got the lightning fire trigger on there to increase that fire by 87.5 percent quicker so you can basically kill the enemies 85 87 percent quicker then we got the the tactical grip cover so then we can pull our pistol out like we can switch our pistol a lot quicker which actually comes in clutch so much so if you guys want the screenshot there you guys go and then uh, what you guys could also run is for the vest the assassin's vest so the assassins is basically like ghost if the enemy has a uav up you can literally hide in a bush which i don't recommend doing that but you can hide in a bush you can do whatever you want and you're not going to be on the radar so now you can fire your gun you're not going to be on the radar the enemies aren't going to see when their teammates die we're going to be running the covert sneakers so they can't hear your footsteps we got the assassins so you'll never be up on the uavs and our secondary has a suppressor so with this build the enemies are never going to know where you're at making it very annoying to play against Got the Semtex just so I can, you know, chuck Semtexes at them. Doesn't really matter. Stim because we are going to be in the enemy's face, but you guys can run whatever you want. Got the Scavenger Gloves since we do not have a field upgrade with the Assassin's Vest, and I want to make sure I have ammo. If you don't really care about that, then I would run the Assault Gloves, so then you're you're a little bit more accurate when you are moving around the map, jump shotting and things. And then EOD so we don't die by nades. We don't really run, we don't need Ghost because the Assassin's Vest is like a better Ghost. Ghost is the same as Assassin's, but with the Ghost, you are going to be on the radar if you stop moving. So you have to constantly be moving if you don't want to be on the radar, which honestly, I think Assassin's Vest is pretty overpowered. With all that said, though, that is going to wrap it up for the Striker. Next one we are going to be going over is an overkill class. So we got the Wasp Swarm Overkill XRK. The XRK is one of my favorite snipers in the game. Very high damage and very fast. So at long range, you can use that. And then at close range, medium range, you can run the Wasp Swarm, which is the fastest killing SMG in the game. And you have a very fast sprint to fire speed. Not the fastest, but it's still pretty quick when you add the no sock to this class. Then you have a really fast uh, sprint to fire speed. So now you can basically destroy everyone up close and you can destroy everyone at long range, making it a very annoying build to play against. So to be off the radar, we are adding the Shadow Strike Suppressor again. For the barrel, we got the Reckless Barrel to increase that damage range. With this gun, I always run the Reckless Barrel because this one's going to add a lot of uh, like recoil control, which this gun, if you've ever used it, you know there's a lot of recoil. And then we also get a lot of damage range, making this thing kill quicker at range. This one is also pretty good, but I would like the ADS is already pretty good, so I'd rather lose a little bit of my mobility to have a little bit more recoil control. But in the end, it is personal preference. Use whichever one you want. And then we are running the 50 round mag since you are going to be blowing through ammo. This ammo, this thing has such a fast fire rate that you are going to need the extended mag. The 50 round is an absolute must and for the stock to add a lot of recoil control we are going to be adding the fortress heavy stock this one also gives you a lot of firing aiming stability again making your gun very predictable and with the recoil control we get a whopping 28 percent for the recoil gun kick and then for the horizontal and vertical we get a little bit over 20 percent really eliminating all the recoil on the weapon what you guys could do is the no stock this one's going to give you so much sprint to fire speed to where if anybody rushes you you are going to be able to kill them but at medium range it is a little bit hard to use as you guys can see it takes around a lot but up close it is going to be a complete beam i love this thing especially with the sniper so then you can use sniper at medium long range and then you got this thing for up close so i would really consider running the no stock or checking out one of my other wasp swarm videos i have a lot of very good builds for this weapon overall though i feel like most people will like the fortress and then lastly we got the marauder grip just to add a little bit more recoil control without really having any cons at all what you guys could also do is go over to the underbarrel and then you guys could add the Kamira underbarrel. That one is also pretty good. Bruin Heavy, very good, but it is going to chalk the ADS speed to where, you know, yes, you can use it up to medium range very easily, but we got the Sniper for that reason. And so the Bruin Heavy is another very good build. I like this one a lot too. So overall, to make it simple for you guys, 
This is probably my favorite build for the weapon. If you want no recoil, run this build. And then my favorite build with the sniper and stuff. And just in general, I actually really like this build as well. It's just kind of like whatever I'm feeling in the moment. With the secondary, we got the XRK Stalker. This one, we do have a suppressor on there, so then we're not on the radar. And then we got the handler barrel just to make this thing uh, a little bit easier to quit scope with. This gun's always going to be a one-shot kill, and in multiplayer, the bullet velocity is already so good to where you can just max out the ADS speed. So then, if needed, you can quit scope. And you guys see a lot of the time I do quit scope with this weapon. So run the this barrel, the short barrel with the sonic suppressor. Got the light stock on here just for a little bit more mobility. And then, uh, yes, we are losing recoil control, but that doesn't really matter. Then to fire off that next shot, we got the uh, the Stalker light bolts. So then we can rechamber that next shot 50% quicker, which is actually very crucial if you see a couple enemies on your screen. Then for the rig up, we got the XRK Stalker factory. This one is just going to give us a little bit more mobility. Yes, uh, like maybe the Bruin might be. A, uh, honestly, Bruin is really good, too. Uh, I'm usually in a position where the enemies don't really see where I'm at with the sniper, so the enemies don't really shoot at me too much, so I don't really need that flinch resistance, and the stability is already pretty good on the weapon, but I would consider the Bruin over, although for me, I do like the Stalker. So if you guys do want a screenshot, there you guys go. For the rest of the class, we're actually going to be running, obviously, overkill. And then we got the proximity mines, so we can just throw those around the map. And then, you know, it gives you lots of free kills. And then we got the stun grenade. So if we need to stun the enemy and switch to our secondary, we can do so. Again, all personal preference. Use whatever you want. Quick grab gloves, just so we can swap from the sniper to the SMG or vice versa a lot quicker. The marksman gloves are pretty good, too. So then we have less sway when we are sniping. Assault gloves are pretty good if you're playing aggressive. Scavenger gloves are going to make it so you don't run out of ammo. So again, personal preference, you don't run whatever you want. When we are rotating, since I don't want the enemies to hear me, I got the covert sneakers. Again, run whatever you want. And then for, oh, uh, one thing that I do recommend you guys to try out, lightweight boots so you can run around a little bit quicker. Then we got the EOD so we don't have to really worry about nades. That's going to wrap it up for this class. Now for the last class, the Bass Beat, which is probably the best gun in the entire game. You can't really use it at long range too easily. You guys are going to see you can use it up to long range. But um, it's going to excel. It actually excels in any engagement. This thing is completely broken. It is so nasty. We are running the bulleted break because this gun has a lot of recoil, which this one is going to eliminate all that recoil off the weapon. And then, yes, we are losing some damage range, but we get that back by adding the Wolverine Respirite Long Barrel. Bruin Venom is a little bit better if you are playing slow, but since I am a pretty aggressive player, I like the Wolverine, so I get damage range and we get a little bit more mobility, which is super nice. The iron sights, I do like the iron sights, so if you are going to swap out anything, I would take off the optic. Camera vertical under barrel just to get that nice recoil control. I run this on a lot of my builds. If we take off the 30 round mag, you guys are going to see this thing only has 20 rounds, so it's really helpful to run the 30. I don't like the 45 because it just takes so long to reload to where it actually gets me killed because I need to reload in the middle of the gunfight. And so 30 round mag is way helpful, way more helpful. Since I am aggressive, I like the slate. I'm sitting back. I'll use the MK3 reflector. And then uh, you don't really need a laser. If you are going to run one, run the Cronin Intelas. You could even just uh, add one of these, which gives you like this one, the DX Flash, which gives you sprint to fire speed and stability. That's also another very good one. If you want to increase damage range, add the high grain rounds. And then uh, one that's pretty good for Warzone is to run the Hollow Point because it slows down the enemies. And Warzone takes a lot longer to kill the enemies, which the Hollow Point is going to slow them down, making it pretty actually very much meta in Warzone. Overpressured again gives the enemies a lot of flinch. And then uh, if you are going to run a rear grip, the ST88 grip is going to eliminate more of the recoil. This build right here, I really, really like. And if you are going to run a suppressor, I would just run the Shadow Strike or the Sonic. And then I would run this rear grip. So then you have like basically no recoil and then you are going to be off the radar. So that's another very good build if you run one of those suppressors. And then uh, if you want to add a stock, I wouldn't no stock. Okay, you know, I'll give you guys a bonus class. The no stock is pretty good. The Bruin Flash VA is also very good. Ravage is good. But overall, I would rather just run that rear grip or I would run an optic. If you guys do want a screenshot, there you guys go. And again, if you want to run a suppressor on this build, then I would add the Sonic. Yeah, I would add the Sonic. Take off the optic. Then I would add the STA-88. That is also a very good one. What you guys could also run. This is my favorite one to use like on ship. And I got two favorite ones. So this one, I guess these are like honorable mentions within the video. So this one's a very good SMG version of the Bass B. And then if you want a little bit of a longer range SMG one, that's a little bit easier to use. This one I use on shipping. This one I use on the other maps. This one is so fun. And then on a muzzle that you could add if you want more recoil control. I believe, I don't know if I have it unlocked, but I know that uh, I think it's called the Boar. The Boar 4090 is very good on this build. So I would definitely try something else. I mean, try that out. 
Got the infantry vest since we are going to be playing very aggressive. Got the Renetti on here. This is my favorite, like, aggressive Renetti build. So you just have a lot of mobility and you got a pretty good amount of ammo. And then we got the Battle Rage. This one's going to give you, like, basically, it's going to make you immune to the enemy's flashes and give you, it's going to regenerate your health a little bit quicker, allowing you to play very aggressive. And so the Battle Rage, very fun. Drill charge just in case the enemies are camping behind cover. I can throw that on them. And then it goes through the cover and blows up uh, the room that they're in. Munitions box, since I'm going to be streaking a lot with this build. Since I am playing aggressive, I got the Assault Gloves. Marks and Gloves are also pretty good. Covert sneakers, so then they don't hear my footsteps. And again, EOD, so I don't have to worry about nades. And that's going to wrap it up. So if you guys did find this video helpful, make sure you hit the subscribe button with the noties on. Hit the like button. And I'll see you in my next video. Deuces. <laughs>